What's going on, everybody? This is Blockchain Backer bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And today, we're going to be taking a look over here at the Bitcoin price chart and the Ethereum price chart and take a look over there at the altcoin market. I saw some upward popping green action happen yesterday for an altcoin 0x, 50% upward green candle. That was awesome. If you're noticing, my voice may sound a little muffled or a little bit different. I am recording from my laptop. I'm on the road. I am in Dallas, Texas today, meeting up with the guys over there from Link2. So I will be in Dallas for the next couple of days. And you know what? We'll get through this, man. Audio quality will be down for just a couple of days, and then we'll be right back to that beautiful Shure microphone that I have for my PC next week. Either way, what a time to be on the road because the price action has been positive during this time. You can see Bitcoin's up, you know, over $1,300 today, sitting at 42714 So we'll take that all day been talking about this throughout the week you know my thought process on an abc correction that this will be more of a more quality time to spend together retrace coming out in here but i think we can all take some relief in here after having you know, about 16 days of just kind of uh not so fun action this is the most uh, consecutive kind of green time period we've had in over two weeks so we'll take it I missed this yesterday when it happened, but I noticed that 0x had popped up 50% yesterday. And you know, every time I peek at my phone when I'm you know, checking prices and anything, I notice something when like something on this list is up 50%. But I never saw it throughout the day. And it was really like into the very, very end of the day that this actually ended up happening. Just in the last three hours of the day, 0x rose. 55 percent if you've been watching the videos that have been putting out over the course of the last couple of weeks we've been talking about these structures happening down here that this is the same stuff we're seeing throughout 90 percent of the altcoin market happening in here even over here on 0x we could see this wyckoff accumulation happening in here and now working its way back up and so you can look everywhere like stellar lumens right this is the circles we had on those videos last week but these are the same structures happening in here everywhere and these things are still sitting at the lows that they're everywhere. That's the things that we're looking for is to see these Wyckoff accumulations and finally eventually break on out. Finally, we're starting to see that happening over here. So nice to see that. And it shows you how quick these things can happen. 50% in three hours. That's the tough thing about cryptocurrency is that we can go through periods like this that can drag out for, you know, a long time, right? 130 days. And then like you saw in three hours, it can take it back. Like I've talked about with Ethereum in the last two videos that I've done this week, and how this structure is precisely what a topping structure looks like. Like I mentioned, you know, I completed my exiting of Ethereum right there on November 10th. Price fell. It's identical to what Bitcoin's topping looked like back in 2017, 2018, working into an ABC correction. These are the things we're looking for in here for retracement. And we're starting to see some altcoins pop. We need, we need a whole lot more than just 0x to end up doing it. But I like seeing early signs of things happening like we've seen over here with 0x and like we saw a couple of weeks ago silica doing it as well so we got to remember over here on things like xrp right or at least this is what i think about right so i i see the crash the retrace the reaccumulation happening in here and at the same time what is the structure it's the same thing right it's the wyckoff accumulation happening in here and that's all it takes it takes one candle in three hours 50 percent suddenly everybody's mind has changed and everybody is no longer worried sad and depressed everybody's euphoric and excited again and i don't know what day that's going to happen on um, but those are the things I'm looking for. And I know a lot of people are tired of all of this. I'm tired of all of it. I'm tired of waiting and all, all the, everything we've had to go through over the course of the last year in regards to price action. But man, I cannot tell you how rejuvenated I, I feel to see this happening over here on Ethereum like we talked about on Monday and on Tuesday. And that if there's a time for all of this stuff to happen, we're heading into that time period. So I'm really excited. I know not a lot of people want to hear that about the Ethereum, even though it's already risen 6,000% in this bull run. Why people wouldn't be like, yeah, okay, that was great. What about everything else, right? There's still a lot of people who are still holding on to that Ethereum hope, even after a 6,000% rise. But this corrective structure is just clear as day of what we've seen for tops. And that I completed my exit plan on November 10th, expecting that to be the literal top. And boom, we are getting a perfect, perfect ABC correction happening here on Ethereum of a topping structure. And this is the opportune time of what we saw in 2018 for those altcoins to run. So we're having to spend more quality time with each other, which I'm sure we would rather be spending our quality time over there on an island, enjoying <laughs> flying helicopters around and having a good time, like blockchain truckers said. 
but I'm super rejuvenated to see all of this happening here on Ethereum, knowing that Ethereum got to a $560 billion market cap and that when Bitcoin topped in 2017, it was only a $330 billion market cap. And we saw what happened into that altcoin market here at this point. And the fact that we've seen both Ethereum and Bitcoin hit those 4.236 extensions, these perfect corrective structures happening in here, still pointing to that the top of these two things are in and that rotation is what we've seen happen in these moments before. Any signs of these things starting to get going, I'm going to point to them. It's just a reminder that you can sit down here and be stuck down here for a month. And then suddenly in three hours, everything changes on the chart. For us in XRP, it has felt like that this whole time. But if you pulled off a move just like that, right, you went and rose 50%, what would the chart suddenly look like? It would look very different. You see a whole lot more excitement coming out in here. And that's that's all it takes. And you know what? The structures are set up here throughout the market for things like that to happen. So it's just a good reminder to see something like that happen. Because for those of us who have been in here for such a long time, we all know that it can. We've all been here in these moments before where they can. And it's just been a long time since one of these types of things has actually ended up happening. But they happen all the time. We just haven't seen them in quite a while. But the same setup going on in here throughout the rest of the market as well. If not, I think even a better setup to have when it's so clean with the crash retrace reaccumulation. Just a good reminder to see how quickly those things can change. But, you know, in, I'm glad it's a green day, right? If I'm coming in here with this audio quality that's not so hot, I'm traveling. The last thing I would want is like prices to be falling into that moment. We're having to like dissect it all for real, see if there's like some critical thing happening in here. But, you know, I keep my expectations in check of what my personal thesis is of this market. And I don't think Bitcoin's really going to get very far from here. I, you know, I would not be surprised Bitcoin starts kind of rolling back down over again. The same thing goes over here for Ethereum. That's really my thought process is Ethereum is still going to continue rolling its way down. But the things that I'm looking for, I'm going to point to every time we see a new one happen is what's happening over there with those altcoins when some of them start popping out. Because that's how it has worked in the past. The whole market goes together. But what happens is it's usually one. Then it's another. Then it's another. Then it's another. Then it's another. And another. And another. And another. And then they're all going at the same time. So you know, as the famous saying goes, uh, slowly, then all at once, you know, to kind of reiterate there with what's happening with Bitcoin and why I think uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin are both going to kind of pause out here for a minute. You can kind of get an idea of where we're at in here in this corrective phase right in here, right? You're somewhere like that in the structure. These types of phases have historically done this type of thing before where the money can rotate in the market. So these are the things I'll be keeping my eyes on over the course of the next couple of days. As I'm traveling, as I'm trying to get a video out for you guys and check in with you briefly, I'll be here in Dallas for a few days. So I'm not going to be planning on putting a video out tomorrow unless we see more of these things start popping out in here. I'm meeting with a lot of the people from Link2 these few days that I am here. So it's been fun. Went out to eat with some of the guys last night and I took Ray to the gym today and put him through my workout this morning. So that was fun. But otherwise, the market's looking okay. It's doing exactly like Ethereum is doing exactly what we've seen happen in these structures. This little move up that we're seeing here in a couple of days. That's cool and all. Uh, I'm not convinced by the move that it's really going to sustain itself for too long. And that it's still going to keep ranging in there. Um, but the thing is that the market conditions that we're at are for those altcoins to pop out. So we'll be keeping our eyes on all of those things. And it's exciting to see they're doing kind of what we typically see happen in crypto where they can happen really fast. So. I'll probably be posting over there to Twitter if I if I see more of them pop out of there. But otherwise, it's a cool, calm day in crypto. We'll take it. And on that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this thing up. Just a quick little check-in with you guys. I hope that you're doing well. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.